Hi everyone, it's me, Crystalline, your proactive conscious aging life coach. How are you guys doing today? I am joyful in the Lord and in the power of his might. Welcome back once again to my channel. And you know, this is going to be my follow-up video uh, from my last video, which was part two of cleansing spring detox using castor oil. I told you I'd come back at the end of the week and let you know how it went. So before I get started though, I am just thrilled to pieces about you guys' response to my last two videos. I really appreciate everyone who watched and I appreciate all my new subscribers. I got something like 40 new subscribers in two days and I'm just thrilled to pieces about that. You know, you guys made me feel so good. I really appreciate you. So uh, let's get started. This is part three. So the last time I told you guys that I was going to use uh, my castor oil to do a spring detox with juice. And I showed you the juices that I made. So I'm going to tell you what the results are. But first of all, I'm going to give you three warnings that I felt to give you and I want to make sure that if anybody, any one of you is going to do a detox using castor oil, I want you to know, first of all, if you are pregnant, do not take castor oil internally. It will induce labor. So if you're pregnant, don't do it. Okay. Number two, if you are over 60 years old, which I am 63, you want to make sure that your potassium level is balanced. Okay. And I don't know how you tell when your potassium is down, but what happens to me when my potassium goes down is I start to get really bad Charlie horses in my legs. I mean, excruciating. Okay. So if you do take this castor oil internally, you want to make sure that you are balancing your electrolytes. Okay. Uh, what can you do? You can have bananas. Okay. Bananas are full of potassium. You also want to make sure you stay very, very hydrated. And this is smart water and this smart water has electrolytes. And what it has is right down here. I'm going to tell you, uh, Calcium chloride, magnesium, and potassium are in here. So you want to keep you some smart water on hand when you're doing your detox with your castor oil. You don't want your electrolytes to become unbalanced. It could be very, very uh, excruciating and it can cause heart palpitations and everything else. So I want you to keep those things in mind. The other thing is, which is really, really important, and I don't know if I emphasized it enough in the last video, I want you to make sure that your castor oil, the brand that you're using, is for internal consumption. That means that you can take it by mouth. It just I'm just being very clear. I want to make I want you to make sure that you can take your castor oil by mouth. Now I use this brand right here. It's called Heritage Store. Eh. I always have that glare. Sorry about that. Well, it's Heritage Store Organic Castor Oil. And this one, I looked it up online and they had so many people asking about it. They actually answered online. Yes, you can take this one internally. So look your brand up online and if they don't specifically answer your question i'm sure they probably have a phone number or a website on back of the label or you can look for the website for your brand and find out if you can take it internally so three warnings for you guys but before i forget if you're new to my channel please like this video, subscribe to this video, make a lot of comments in the comments section. Let me know what you think about it, you know, and if you really like it, share my video and don't forget 
to hit that notification bell so you can get my videos just as soon as I upload them. And you know, I always say that and I don't want to forget because I'm trying to build this channel up. I'm on my way to a thousand subscribers, which may not you know, sound like that much, but you know, one step at a time as you climb the YouTube ladder. So let me tell you how the castor oil worked for me. First of all, what I noticed about the castor oil is that when I put it into my juice, I used a metal tablespoon to measure it. The first time I took it, I think it was last Saturday afternoon around 1130, I used three and a half tablespoons. Now, when I looked up how much you would have to take for it to work, they say for the average adult, three tablespoons. So of course I took three and a half and I put it into my juice and it was great. There was no taste. I could not taste it at all. And I started out using it in my pineapple orange juice. So maybe that's why it was such a delicious drink that I couldn't taste anything. So I took about three and a half tablespoons of it. Now it didn't start working for about, I want to say five hours. And this is the first time that I've ever taken castor oil and it didn't start working until about five hours. But once it started working, let me tell you something, it started working. Okay. And so I want to say between 6 PM and, and 10 PM, I was going to the bathroom and I mean, everything came out just as I had hoped and it worked very well. So that was Saturday where I took the three and a half tablespoons. Now I am five foot nine. I weigh about 150 pounds. If you're smaller than me, you may want to look up, you know, how much you would need to take. Uh, and, and, you know, conversely, if you're larger than me, you want to look that up. But what I found was that the average adult can take two to three tablespoons. Okay. So I just kicked it up a little bit and took three and a half and it did work. And so I like that. So what I had planned to do was just take it like every other day. So then I think the next day that I took it was Tuesday and I took two tablespoons on that occasion that worked. It didn't work as well as the three and a half tablespoons, but that was okay because I was already flushed out very well and I was drinking my juices. So I felt good. The other thing that I did was I put the castor oil into my belly button and that was another suggestion that I had read. And I did that on Monday. Well, Sunday and Monday. And do you know, even if you just put it in your belly button, I used a Q-tip and put it in there. And then I rubbed some around, massage some around my um, umbilicus. I hate saying belly button for some reason. I sound like I'm talking to a little kid. Anyway, I massaged it all around. And do you know that that actually also stimulated my bowel movement the next day? So I thought that was great. And I even told my husband about it and he did it too. He put it in his umbilicus and he massaged it around. And he also had a very good benefit from that. So even if you don't want to take it by mouth internally, you can try that method. Put it in there, put a good amount on it. Don't just put a little tiny drop, put a good amount on it, put it into your umbilicus, spread it around and see what it does. I think it'll work for you. Okay. So the second day I took the two tablespoons. Then I waited a few days, which was ending up to be last night. Now, something that I noticed was when I took the two tablespoons, it didn't work as well. It still worked, but I want a lot to come out and because I was cleansing. So I took some again last night and this time I took four tablespoons and you know, I think that I built up some kind of tolerance because it didn't even work as well as the first time when I took three and a half tablespoons. You follow me? So I don't know, you know, I guess you can build up a tolerance with castor oil, just like anything else. So what I'll probably do is, you know, just wait 
a few days before I take it again. You know, I'm good anyway. I feel good. I feel clean. I feel fresh. I have my fresh juices. And I think that the castor oil really, really worked very well. And so I'll show you something funny because I first got this little 16 ounce bottle and my husband and I liked it so well that my husband said, well, I'm going to get this one. So this is the 32 ounce bottle. So now we have both bottles and this should last us for a good long time for whatever we want to use it for. Now we're going to use this bottle downstairs in the kitchen for we when we want to take it internally. So we'll have it. And then this one goes upstairs in the dark cabinet underneath my sink. And so as I was telling you before, when I want to use this, say, in other areas, not necessarily internally. I have that little dark bottle with a dropper and I put every, I put my castor oil in there. Another thing that I'm going to try is I'm going to try the liver cleanse with the castor oil because it seems like my liver is kind of sluggish, you know. I'm trying to help my metabolism and that's kind of the seat of metabolism. So I'm going to try that as well. I'll let you know how that goes. Now, you know, on April 6th, I'm going to give you guys a full rundown on everywhere I've used my castor oil. I will give you a, a hint though. Uh, I've been using it on my eyebrows and I've been using it on my eyelids. And actually what I was doing was I was using it on my eyelids to help me sleep. And, you know, it worked. And what was happening was I put it like just above my lash line and I put it all over my lid and even here in my crease and the my body heat just kind of took it down into my lash line in such a way that it didn't get in my eyes. And don't you know my eyelashes are growing already? Can you believe it? You know, I have no lashes and I usually wear my lashes, my strip lashes, because I like them to be long and strong, fluttering, right? But <laughs> I looked in the mirror the other day and don't you know, I could actually see some little eyelash growth. I couldn't believe it. I said, get out of here. My eyelashes are actually growing already. And so I think that is good. And I wanted to give you guys at least one good report. Well, one other good report about the castor oil. My lashes are growing already. So, oh, one thing that I forgot to mention about the potassium. Now, as I said, if you're over 60, you want to watch out for your electrolyte uh, balance. And for example, my, I'm always low on potassium, okay? And, and I guess I got that from my mother because my mother used to be so low on potassium that she had to go to the hospital several times. So anyway, my doctor prescribed potassium for me. So I take these every day and you can also get these over the counter. So if you know you have a problem with potassium, make sure you take it. Because as I was saying, this castor oil, it works very, very well to clean out your system. Another thing, uh, I'm all over the place, but I have good results. My husband took it and he noticed that it seemed to calm his stomach down. You know, um, he tends to have kind of a fluttery stomach and he took his castor oil and it calmed everything down. So that was another excellent result that we had from taking our castor oil internally. So that's just what I wanted to bring you today was just this little follow up on how the detox cleanse went. It went awesome and uh, or is it awesomely uh, whatever. It went very well. And so I wanted to encourage you, if you're thinking about doing an internal cleanse with the castor oil, be sure to have your potassium uh, balanced. If you're over 60, make sure you're not taking it while you're pregnant or even thinking you're pregnant. And also make sure that 
you have the right castor oil, one that can be taken internally. There are so many different brands and I wouldn't want anyone who is watching one of my videos to get sick because they took the, the wrong kind, okay? I'm watching out for you guys. Now, one other thing is that I want you to come back uh, Thursday or Friday because I have a really fun and exciting special announcement to make. So come back next Thursday or Friday and I'm going to tell you all about it. Okay? Now, listen, if you haven't subscribed to my channel by now, make sure you do. And come back. If you have any questions about the internal cleansing, put them in the uh, comment section. And oh, one more thing, I almost forgot. There is a method to take your castor oil if you're in a hurry and you wanna take it and you wanna have it start to work within about two hours. There is a method for that. And I'm going to put that link in the comment section. See, I reminded myself, excuse me, I'm putting it the the description box okay I get the comment section and the description box mixed up sometimes but anyway I'm going to put a link to that method also in the description box so let me see did I get everything I think I did I want to say happy Sunday to you guys God bless you and I'll see you next time Mwah.